what is herb of the week? It actually came out of something that I used to do called the herbal weather report, where I would teach herbal formulas specifically from the point of view of what do I think is going on in all of the elements right now that practitioners most likely are going to be seeing blowing in the wind and most likely to want to use in their practice. It was a way of not just speaking to herbalists' concerns, though. It was an opportunity to use the herbs as an opportunity to explore aspects of being that we have in common. And that's very much still the case. The way in which I work with herbs, I work with them as teachers. They teach me how to be. And so even if you're not an herbalist, you might be very interested in the herb of the week, not necessarily to take the herb in plant form, but to be the herb, to sound the note. The word for herbalism in Chinese is music in plant form. Plants are incredibly benevolent in singing these different notes, singing these songs for us that we weave together into little theme songs and then drink them. But they're not the only ones who can sound a note. You can sound a note. And there are more times when healing has begun inside of me just because I knew that there was an herb for that. And if there's an herb that does that, all the herb does by taking it is be a pitch pipe inside of us and go, hmm, until we gain the confidence to sound that note. So herb of the week is an opportunity to reflect on the nature of an energetic that seems relevant and healing during that week. And that we can all hmm, use that as a pitch pipe and go forth in our lives sounding the note.